So we are outside of Harper's Ferry on the Maryland side. We are going to be trying to find Fort Duncan, which was a um, fort obviously during the Civil War. Um, it probably had logs around it, but you can only see the breastwork, breastworks or earthworks today. So we're gonna try to find that. Um, there's also some canal locks we're gonna try to find. It looks like you have to bushwhack here, so we'll see how that goes. Here's just a little kiosk about Fort Duncan. If you wanna pause and read, you can. So some other YouTubers have done this hike. Um, I also saw some post on Facebook. So uh, we're gonna check it out, see if we can find it. I don't think it's on a, a trail per se. Might have to bushwhack a ways to get there, but we'll let you know how, how we do, what we find. So there is an old road here that uh, I believe should take you there. I mean, like I said, there's no trail, but it is marked on Google Maps. So we're using Google Maps and all trails because all trails does have some trails throughout the area to uh, try to find Fort Duncan. So here's, was that one time a structure, some concrete or cinder blocks right down in here, this depression. Down there is the Potomac and looks like there's an abandoned house up here. So we'll definitely check this out and see what this is about. This looks pretty cool. So here's this old house back here. Um, it does say no trespassing and this is National Park Service, so we're not gonna go in or anything, but we'll look around the outside, see if we can find any outbuildings or anything else. But uh, this is pretty cool. This abandoned house back here on our uh, Fort Duncan hike. So it's pretty rough shape. Um, I mean, I can assume why they don't want people going in it. Looks like here's the well right here. They have covered over with big rocks. Um, but I'll walk around the perimeter and the base is field stone. So I'm guessing it's pretty old inside a part of the house. Like I said, I'm not going in, but, um, pretty interesting stuff. Oh, it's got to be pretty old at the base is field stone, but it's in rough shape and <coughs> cool part of history. Steps. So here's the house and then there's like an outbuilding that probably collapsed not too long ago. I don't know if it was like a summer kitchen or what it was, but the remains of the, whatever this was are right here. So here's a last look at that abandoned house up here on the Fort Duncan trail. So I'm trying to find this. We found some wooden fence posts and now we're gonna head up, bushwhack away up there and Fort Duncan should be up there. So we're walking up a really steep hill. Um, like I said, no path, really slick rocks, a lot of leaves. So if you're gonna do this, be careful of your footing. Um, but it should be at the top of this hill. Me and my brother are climbing too. I hope we're able to find it. So we made it, you can see right up here are the earthworks or breastworks of Fort Duncan. Um, you can kind of see the design and see the outline of the, uh, the fort. This is pretty cool. So that raised ground to the right uh, is the fort, uh, which the Union built. This is really, really cool stuff. We found Fort Duncan. All right, we're gonna walk around the perimeter and see if we can get any better shots or see what it looks like inside the fort. So here we are walking through the uh, earthworks or breathworks. You can see it's really sloped. And we'll get up on the insides, but we're just walking the perimeter, see what it looks like. So down here's here. the interior of the fort. Exterior is down here. And like I said, they probably would have had logs, um, no stone. And this whole inside is the interior of Fort Duncan. Just amazing. You just walk in the perimeter here. 
Uh, obviously that's the outside, inside to my right. And you can just see how it was and how everything is um, on the inside. And there's like breastworks or earthworks on the outside. And at one point, this was a Civil War fort. So there's some really, really interesting history back here up by Harper's Ferry. And so now I'm on the inside of the fort. I was walking along the top of the walls. And you can see there's some raised grounds where I guess they had certain structures and whatnot because there's different parts of the fort, obviously. But these depressions and stuff, that was at one point um, a structure of significance. And here's some of those pits. I don't know if you can see how well it's coming up on camera. Here's some of those pits on the inside of the fort. So down in the uh, base of the fort, here's some more pits or depressions. Um, like I said, I'm not quite sure what they were, but there's pits or depressions all around. You can see the breastworks uh, a couple yards in front of me how it's raised. And on the inside of the fort looking out, you can see these uh, earthworks or breastworks, which are probably about five and a half, six feet high. And they just line the whole interior of this fort. And then it looks like there's a trench on the outside. So this is what the trench looks like, which uh, separates the interior from the outterior. You can see it's really sloped. Pictures and videos probably don't do it justice you'd have to actually come here and see it for yourself but uh it's a really cool find I'm walking a little bit more on the perimeter here see where we were see how it's on this side it's probably like 12 feet high the uh, exterior or the breastworks or earthworks so now we're bushwhacking sort of there's markers on trees we're trying to find our way to the Sino Canal and find some of these uh, canal ruins um, to make it a longer hike. Probably about, be about a three to four mile hike if we find everything we want to. And my brother's leading the way. Um, he's researched this. I think he knows where he's going. So look at the dogs came upon a nice ripe deer carcass and it stinks. It does smell. Yeah, you can yeah, touch it. Yeah. Some little antlers. There's a nice view of the Potomac. Some canal locks on the other side. Uh, pretty treacherous conditions here. And like I said, we're just bushwhacking. And this whole hillside is just all leaves and rocks, so not the best for footing. So we are following like an old farm road or a fire road down, which is on all trails. But it's not anything of like a hiking trail. So there is a way to so follow. We made it down to the canal locks uh, after bushwhacking our way. There's another abandoned house up here, so obviously we're gonna check it out. Here's that abandoned house on top of the hill. Extremely, extremely steep to get up here. We made it up to this house. Um, obviously, like I said, I'm not going inside. This national park, respect him. Um, there are rules. There's the fireplace. Just walking around the perimeter here. Here we are on the back side of the house. Um, it's in pretty rough shape. Pretty rough shape. Still cool nonetheless. And here we are on the side of the house and I'll walk back around front and then we'll head back down the canal. And we are saying goodbye to the band house, <clears throat> heading down to the towpath and checking out the canal lock. So here's canal lock 36. You can see the, I guess the towpath is right there to the right. And then down there, um, I don't know what structure that is. That might be the other towpath way back down there. We'll check it out. But there is another Bennett house we just saw. So we're gonna check that out. So here we are on our third abandoned house. You can see uh, this has to be old as well. Obviously it's con it's somehow associated to the uh, canal. 
So this house, you actually can go inside. Um, looks structurally safe and there's no wood. So. Yeah. Walking around. Pretty cool. So, and, th and this is the outside on the other side. Um, looks like the fireplace is that big column in the middle. I'm not sure what it was, but I'm sure somebody knows what it was. Now we're down along the uh, Sino path. Here's the uh, Potomac. Really high water levels from all the uh, precipitation. Here is inlo Inlet Lock 3. And here's another view of you know, Inlet Lock 3. Here's another uh, canal lock 35 through all this brush. You can't get on top, but we missed it. Here's the Potomac, some falls. Water levels are really, really high. Still walking along the uh, Sino Canal path here. Walking along the Potomac. So we made it down to Canal Lock 34. Then we're gonna head back up um, on the road to Fort Duncan parking area. So that concludes our uh, Fort Duncan and um, Sino Canal Ruins hike. Pretty cool hike if you're in the Harpers Ferry area. Definitely check this one out.